Rogers is praising ayahuasca again, this time crediting the psychoactive T for alleviating his major fear of death. The Green Bay Packers quarterback, who previously said his use of ayahuasca helped lead to his two MVP seasons in 2020 and 2021, told Pat McAfee on Tuesday that the psychedelic trip he got from the view made him much comfortable with his mortality. The 39-year-old explained while growing up as a young teenager during Y2K, he had developed a phobia of not accomplishing certain life goals before ultimately passing. But he told Pat McAfee and AJ Hawk on the Pat McAfee show that ayahuasca changed all of that for him. Take a listen. Not really a football question, but are you scared of dying? I'm just curious after your ayahuasca trip, did you confront your death? Like, does it tell you, does it make you feel better about dying? Great question. I don't know where that question came from. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been sitting on that for weeks or something? Well, first, no, let me. Like two minutes before this. <laughs> yeah. Full transparency. <laughs> It's actually a great question. I had a major uh, fear of death. I don't know if any of you guys felt this way, but kind of our age group. But there was a, and maybe it's just the way I grew up, but there was a lot of weird sentiment around Y2K. Remember that? The oh, world yeah. was going to end, oh, you yeah. know, and, mm -hmm. and I don't know. For me personally, since I was like a young teenager, I was like, man, if the world ends and I'm 16, like I'm not going to be able to accomplish anything I want to accomplish. I'm not going to go to the NFL. I'm not going to go to college. I'm not going to, you know meet a woman, fall in love, have kids, have a family, all these things. I, I think there was like this weird ingrained like fear of like 2000 and fear of like the world ending and death. And, and I think we all struggle on, on, uh, with mortality, uh, with the idea of mortality, especially, you know, age, you got all those kids running around and want to see your kids grow up and have, you know, walk your daughter, daughter down the aisle and, and uh, you know, see your boys grow up and, uh, you know, have great high school careers in Centerville and, and, uh, you know, and, and go on and be great Ohioans. So yeah, I definitely had the fear of death uh, and and ayahuasca and psilocybin actually really, uh, really helped me with that and alleviated a lot of the stress around the idea of needing to accomplish things uh, before I actually die and, and kind of taking away some of that fear. I think when you've seen the other side, uh, it makes the idea of death more of a passage uh, and, and less of a, an ending, more of just kind of the next chapter uh, of life. To that extent, you know, I know, Age, you really got to be close to this guy. Coming Hold on. The Did you just say years. ayahuasca makes you see the other side? Like you just said you saw death? Is that what I just heard there? You definitely see the other side. Yeah. What's it look like? I, mean, I guess What's I could change you, I guess, if you well, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about life and death. I'm talking about, you know, the veil between the seen world and the unseen world. I definitely had a fear of death, he said, and ayahuasca and psilocybin actually really helped me with that and relieved me from a lot of stress around the idea of needing to accomplish things before I actually die. Aaron Rodgers said the trip forced him to see the other side, which made the idea of death more of a passage and less of an ending, more of just kind of the next chapter of his life. Aaron Rodgers initially consumed ayahuasca during the 2020 trip to South America and said back in August it was a magical experience. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you take ayahuasca?